Unit 4, Lesson 12, Fractional Lengths. Number 1. 1 inch is around 2 and 11 20th centimeters. A. How many centimeters long is 3 inches? Show your reasoning. 3 inches is just about 7 centimeters and 6 millimeters, which is 7 and 6 tenths centimeters. So 3 inches is just about 7 and 6 tenths millimeters. Here's another way to find out how many centimeters are in 3 inches. Since 1 inch is around 2 and 11 centimeters, 3 inches would be 3 times greater. 2 and 11 twentieths times 3 equals 6 and 33 twentieths or 7 and 13 twentieths. There are just about 7 and 11 twentieths centimeters in 3 inches. B. What fraction of an inch is 1 centimeter? Show your reasoning. What fraction of an inch is 1 centimeter? Since 1 inch is around 2 and 11 centimeters, the question is also, what fraction of 2 and 11 twentieths is 1? So what fraction of 2 and 11 twentieths is 1? Use 51 twentieths to represent 2 and 11 twentieths. What number times 51 twentieths equals 1? Or 1 divided by 51 twentieths equals what number? Or 1 times 20 over 51 equals 20 over 51. So 20 over 51 represents the fraction of an inch that a centimeter represents. Number 1C. What question can be answered by finding 10 divided by 2 and 11 twentieths? 10 divided by 2 and 11 twentieths could be asking how many inches are in 10 centimeters? Number 2. A zookeeper is 6 and 1 fourth feet tall. A young giraffe in his care is 9 and 3 eighths feet tall. A. How many times as tall as the zookeeper is the giraffe? 9 and 3 eighths represents the height of the giraffe divided by 6 and 1 fourth, which represents the height of the zookeeper. 9 and 3 eighths divided by 6 and 1 fourth is 75 eighths divided by 25 fourths, which is the same as 75 eighths times 4 25ths. Simplified, that becomes 3 halves times 1 over 1, which is 3 halves, or 1 and 1 half. The giraffe is 1 and 1 half times as tall as the zookeeper. B. What fraction of the giraffe's height is the zookeeper's height? 6 and 1 fourth divided by 9 and 3 eighths equals 25 fourths divided by 75 eighths which is the same thing as 25 fourths times 8 70 fifths. And that can be simplified as 1 over 1 times 2 thirds, which equals 2 thirds. The zookeeper is 2 thirds the height of the giraffe. Number 3. A rectangular bathroom floor is covered with square tiles that are 1 and a half feet by 1 and a half feet. The length of the bathroom floor is 10 and a half feet and the width is six and a half feet. A. How many tiles does it take to cover the length of the floor? The length of the bathroom floor divided by the length of the tiles is ten and a half divided by one and a half, or twenty-one halves divided by three halves. In the next step, we multiply twenty-one halves times two-thirds, which can be simplified to seven over one times one over one which is seven. You would need seven tiles to tile the length of the bathroom floor. B. How many tiles does it take to cover the width of the floor? The width of the bathroom is six and a half divided by the width of the tiles at one and a half. Six and a half divided by one and a half equals 13 halves divided by three halves. The next step would be 13 halves times 2 thirds, 
that could also be simplified to be 13 over 1 times 1 third. 13 over 1 times 1 third equals 13 thirds or 4 and 1 third. It would take 4 and 1 third tile to tile the width of the bathroom floor. Number 4. The Food and Drug Administration, FDA, recommends a certain amount of nutrition intake per day called the daily value. Food labels usually show percentages of the daily values for several different nutrients, calcium, iron, vitamins, etc. In three-fourths cups of oatmeal, there is one-tenth of the recommended daily value of iron. What fraction of the daily recommended value of iron is in one cup of oatmeal? Write a multiplication equation and a division equation to represent the question, and then answer the question. Show your reasoning. Three-fourths times what number equals one-tenth? That could be written as a division problem as well. One-tenth divided by three-fourths equals what number? One-tenth divided by three-fourths equals one-tenth times four-thirds, and that equals four-thirtieths or two-fifteenths. One cup of oatmeal would provide two-fifteenths of the daily value of iron. Number 5. What fraction of one-half is one-third? Draw a tape diagram to represent and answer the question. Use graph paper if needed. On this graph paper, I've colored in six squares, four of them green and two of them yellow. All six of them would represent one group of one-half. The four green squares represents one-third and two-thirds of one-half. One-third would represent two-thirds of one-half. Four out of six. Four out of six can be simplified to two-thirds. Number six. Noah says there are two and a half groups of four-fifths in two. Do you agree with his statement? Draw a tape diagram to show your reasoning. Use graph paper if needed. On this graph paper, I've colored in every square. There are four blue squares colored in, four yellow squares colored in, and two green squares colored in. All the squares together represents two. The first group, the blue group, is one group of four-fifths. The next group, the yellow group, is one group of four-fifths. And the last group, the green group, there's only two out of four, which represents one half of a group of four-fifths. There are two and a half groups of four-fifths in two. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 4, Lesson 12, Fractional Lengths.